Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it's David here and welcome back to another Atlas news video and today we have some very big information for both Atlas and Shin Megami Tensei fans because Midori found out some information about website domains that were registered before and that gets me very exciting because if you don't necessarily follow up with all the Atlas news, if you're not subscribed to this channel, <laughs> wink wink, you are not necessarily aware of the importance of website domains and what happens when some new website domain gets registered by a company. So what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss just that. But before we do, as always, if you're new to the channel, you'd like to stay up to date on all things when it comes to Atlas and Atlas News, you're at the right place. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you like today's content, a quick thumbs up is always a big help. Now let's get right into it. So straight up, what happened is Atlas on April 15th of this year. So a few weeks ago, they registered multiple website domains. So as you can see here, tweet from me, Story. They registered website domains for megaton6.jp slash dot com slash dot net. Same thing for Megaton 7, Megaton 8, Megaton 9, Megaton 10. Now, most Atlas fans know Megaton is generally speaking the, uh, well, Megami Tensei universe. So, Digital Devil Story, uh, Digital Devil Saga, Devil Survivor, SMT, Persona, everything can be called Megaton, right? I don't, I don't want to open the, the doors for a debate, but even certain people say, you know, Catherine and everything would be Megaton. So it, Megaton is Atlas specifically, but when you talk about Atlas and the uh, mainline Shin Megami Tensei series, they generally consider SMT and mainline SMT as Megaton. And I want to pull up a, an article from a few years ago, which was from Reggie at Persona Central. And in July of 2020, we got the first or at least the third official trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5, but that's when the game was re-revealed after the initial uh, year of announcement, right? In January of 2017, Atlas announced SMT5, which was in development exclusively for Switch. Then a few months after that, if during a concert, they had a second trailer for SMT5, which was just a little longer, uh, not nothing special. And it took until July of 2020 before they gave us another trailer. Now, before that trailer dropped, they gave up, they registered a website domain called Megaton5.jp, which obviously turned out to be the official website for SMT5 in Japan. So what that means is that they're securing in advance website domains. They registered website domains to be sure that they can get to use it in the future once they're able to reveal more games. So what does that mean? in other words well it simply mean that now at this point in 2024 atlas is planning more smt more smt releases and honestly this news should not surprise you it can be reassuring because again even with all the the momentum that mainline, mainline SMT has right now, there is still certain fans saying that Atlas is forgetting about SMT because we have more Persona than anything nowadays. And I, I get the concern, but honestly, you guys, think about it for a second. The momentum behind Shin Megami Tensei has never been this good. SMT5 Vengeance, the second trailer, I think, or the, was it the first one, is the one, one of the most viewed Atlas trailers of all time. Um, SMT5 is the best-selling Atlas game, best-selling Shin Megami Tensei game of all time, and that's on one platform only. SMT5 Vengeance is coming out in two months as of the time of recording this video, under two months, and that bad boy is gonna do even better probably than the original SMT5 release, or right around the same, which is insane. So SMT is bigger than it's ever been, yes, with Persona, but SMT on its own is bigger than it's ever been, ever been uh, in terms of sales, but critically as well. And it's just unsurprising to me to see this news today because clearly Atlas is going to reveal more SMT in the future. And I think, yes, we're talking about mainline SMT here, but I don't think those are trademarks and website domains that are registered for all the upcoming mainline games. They could just be for side projects, a new spinoff or anything. Anything's possible at this point. We talked about the, the possibility of Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. I'm not no experts in website domains or anything, but to me, they could just recall that, use that, that, that website domain that they registered a few weeks ago and use that for a remastered pack of DDS. Those remasters, remastered releases, they need a website page like others uh, get. So clearly it's possible that it's for side projects too, or maybe they're just decades in advance and they're registering websites for mainline titles only, which would surprise me. But it would not surprise me that SMT6 is part of these titles because at this point, think about it. Metaphor Refinis Yo is clearly the focus for this year. Next year, I think Persona 6 is going to be the main focus. Like, 
it could release next year. I mean, to me, to me, it's an option. It's possible. And if I recall correctly, that's what Midori pointed us towards. Um, so uh, Persona 6 next year, maybe it releases early 2026. And then after that, I mean, to me, it's all about SMT is going to be back in action with SMT 6. Don't forget that SMT 5 started development in 2017. Uh, so that's... Like, we're, we're years, that's, it's, been, it's been years at this point, that's seven years ago. Vengeance is, yes, a re-release, an enhanced re-release, but it's not a new game. A new game is probably in development, or is about to start full-scale development after Vengeance drops, so I would not be surprised to see the reveal of an SMT6 right after Persona 6 drops. Let it be after P6 drops and releases to have the focus on SMT afterwards. I think they obviously need to not put anything else beside Persona 6 because that's going to be the biggest thing that Atlas ever reveals at this point. They're big with Persona now, bigger than they, they, they have ever been before. So it's going to be interesting to see. The future of Atlas is looking bright. What do you guys think of all these websites domain that were registered by Atlas a few weeks ago? To me, it's exciting news, but it's also unsurprising news. I hope it can reassure some of y'all that are always commenting like, hey, where's SMT? Atlas is forgetting about SMT because clearly they aren't. It's good news to me. We're going to get more SMT in the future, and that's always a good in my book. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it. Have a great week, y'all. Bye.